is that the petitioner for each item will be asked to come forward, state your name for the record, and present your request. The board will ask any questions that they have. Then anyone wishing to speak to the proposal will be asked to come forward and voice their opinions. Each side will have 10 minutes to speak. Once your request is heard and the board's decision is rendered, you may leave the meeting. However, if you have questions for the staff, please wait until after the meeting at, to ask them, or you may contact staff at the office the following day. Once public testimony and discussion of a particular item is concluded, the members of the board will deliberate and render a decision. Members with a personal or financial interest in any request are required to recuse themselves from voting. All decisions of the Architecture Review Board are final. Any aggrieved parties may appeal a decision of the board to the City Council within 50 days for procedural issues only. If, you re if your request is denied by the board, petitioners may appeal the board's decision to the Circuit Court within 30 days of the meeting. How many members do we have present? Six? Six. Six. We have enough members today for, to pass a motion without any uh, problem. Let me take a moment to introduce people who are on the Architecture Review Board. Cedric Campbell, to my left. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Brown. Jake Johnson. Jake, thank you. Uh, Jeremy Kelly is not here. John Hayden, thank you. John Fushy is not here. Hillary Morgan. Uh, Katie Williams and Kalia Bell is not here. And I understand that we have no tree issues, so no one from the uh, Urban Forester is here. We also have Christy Anderson. Please stand up, Christy, and receive uh, uh, honor and praise from everyone in the room for attaining yet another year in life. It is your birthday today. Happy birthday. <laughs> And Paula Wade, it is not your birthday. It is not. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Number one on the agenda is, is that 1859 Ridge Avenue? Is that the first one? Yep. Yes, it is. Alex Whitley? Yes. Is that you? My name's Alex Whitley. I'm asking the board to approve a change from a rolled asphalt uh, shingle on the, or rolled, um, yeah, rolled asphalt uh, shingle on the back porch to a standing sink copper roof. The back of the porch you can't see from um, Lockerbie Street, uh, or you can see the porch, you can't see the roof. All the other roofs on the house uh, that are porch related are standing sink copper, so I'm just requesting the change. Um, I do have to replace that roof either way because there is a leak in it, so I'm requesting the change to standing okay. seam copper. Okay. Is there anyone from the audience to speak to this? Yes, Darby? All right, yeah. Darby Forrester from the uh, Old Cloverdale Association says they're okay. And uh, is your roof visible from anywhere else? Neighbors with second story windows? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, you know they're going to be blinded in the, for the summer if <laughs> that happens. All right. Any questions from the board? All right. May I have a motion? Move to approve as submitted. A second. 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 All in favor? No one ever comes and asks. To, to, to. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Our second. See, you already know who you are before I even call your name. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm glad you did. I was just eager. <laughs> uh, you're uh, Morgan Gunner? Yes, ma'am. And it is 3167 LeBron Road, Cloverdale, Iowa. All right. Tell us what you want to do. Um, yes, our application um, is for, uh, it's related to our driveway. Uh -huh. And um, when I submitted the application uh, at the beginning of the month, um, it specifically asked for concrete. 
Um, I have since um, considered changing the request to um, doing gravel. Um, we're still exploring different options, um, but gravel is one option we wanted to explore. Um, that's partially because I've been doing a lot of walking around the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I've seen some really nice looking uh, gravel driveways, so we wanted to explore that as well. There are a lot of nice gravel driveways in Cloverdale, Ottawa, so. <laughs> and some nice concrete. Yeah, it looks to me like the, the, the problem with your driveway, according to this picture, would be that you need a, a, a curb Edging. cut, a proper curb cut, and uh, an apron there at the street, and then the rest of it could be gravel, yeah. and it would be terrific, better ecologically, and would look fine. Yes, and that's what we've considered is doing um, concrete for the first, you know, several feet um, to just make it look nicer at the curb and the street, um, and then doing gravel for the rest of it. All right. Any comments from the board? <clears throat> so, Ms. Gunner, you're, you're changing your request to just have a concrete apron, and then the rest is gravel all the way? Yes. Okay. Not, not either or, but just apron concrete and the rest gravel are you wanting the gray kind of crusher run sort of look yeah you know i i would like to have both options but i'm definitely leaning towards just doing concrete at the front and then a gray type of gravel um, for the rest of it i actually have somebody coming out to um, talk with me about options for the different types of gravel that are available and the benefits and things Okay. Okay. Anyone from the audience? I got um, written comments from Cloverdale Idlewild. Um, they were in support of the petition for the change to concrete. I would assume that since the driveway is already gravel, um, that's not really a change. Um, I would just note that the biggest issue that you know what I talk to people about when they ask about gravel is how are you going to edge it how are you going to contain it so you don't end up with gravel all over the lawn so that may be a consideration if you want to entertain that that change in request so like a metal landscape edge and kind of contain it yeah we'll definitely want to have a defined edge um, because that's one of the things right now that we don't like is that it's you know, you can't really tell where it starts and where yeah. it stops because the yeah. grass is growing into it. So that's something I will definitely discuss with um, the company that's going to help us with it, is how we can, whether we do some sort of edge, I know you can do bricks, or there's d different options, um, but how can we make it look nicer on the edges? All right, any further comments? And may I have a motion? Move to approve as presented. Second. Second. All in favor? Go and improve of course, your front. That, that's, that gives her the option to do either or? Yeah, since it's not, I, I said presented because it was not as, you know, as written. So we've discussed a few things. I think everybody's okay with any option. That more, I mean, it's <coughs> already an, a, a so as right presented, you need permission you know, for that. If she wants to do the concrete, do the concrete. If you want to do the... <laughs> apron with the gravel make sure you get it contained if you do gravel otherwise christy will come say something bad to you i do that yes you do. yes <laughs> all right Thank you. did we vote i think we, we did. did all right, all right. yeah I, I just wanted to make sure she had okay. the option to do both Thank yeah you. yeah yeah because as since the driveway is gravel really the only change would be changing it to concrete so if if it was the apron with the gravel then really the only approval is again for the concrete. It has a, an apron right now, but it looks like it's in terrible condition. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's in really bad shape. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, next, uh, Jed Grant, request for approval of a new front stoop and walkway for the property located at 2033 Ellen Street. Yes, ma'am. What's up? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ted Grant of Cloverdale. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, we've got a, a brick porch, and it's kind of tough to see from that photo, but the, the brick is starting to kind of erode and come apart, and a lot of the, the substrate, the, the sand that was behind it is 
uh, it's kind of eroded away, and so it's uh, it's in need of repair. And so our our hope is to go back with a, a concrete porch, um, and then wrap it with brick and paint it to match the existing facade. It also looks like anyone who had one too many glasses of wine at your house at a dinner party might could <laughs> like cascade <laughs> off these steps. Yes, yes pretty it, easily. Yeah, yeah the, the <laughs> male people have a little bit of difficulty with it. I so. bet they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It happens sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> it's pretty, but not very practical. Yes, ma'am. Nice. Any any more comments from the the <clears throat> board? Anyone from the audience? Ms. Forrester indicates her approval. All right. Then may I have any more comments from the board? May I have a motion then? Move to approve as presented. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Excellent. Thank you. Uh, number four, Pete Powers. Yes, ma'am. You're here. I am. I'm 1287 here. South Lawrence Street. That's right. It's a residence of Paula Weiss, and she, she needs a bigger place to park. So we propose to uh, replace the existing driveway and add a parking pad. And that would be in the backyard. In the backyard, okay. yes, ma'am. And then as soon as the budget will allow, we'd like to put in a garden fence and gates. Was there, a, there, was a, there was a fence there before, wasn't there? Yeah, it there? was a rotting. Falling apart. Like the fence that you see there, yeah. right against the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> yeah. Because I never realized there was a brick patio outside that porch. Uh, well, after we cleaned it off, we, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, it really is, it really is. All right, any comments from the board or questions? Any comments from the audience? May I have a motion then? Move to approve as submitted. Second. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Go, build your Thank driveway. You. Yes, sir. Brad Stone, 3136 Montezuma. This is the one they requested to go last. Last, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's taking me so long to scroll down here. We do like pictures, though. Yeah, we do. We do indeed. Um, 554 East Fairview Avenue, Joseph Mitchell. And this is the one you have the loose handout mm -hmm. for with the um, additional um, photograph. Okay. Hello, I'm not Joseph. I'm Teresa Steele Mitchell, the wife. Mm -hmm. And as you know, we would like to close in our breezeway and I believe the application was required some follow-up and clarification after my husband discovered that the doors we were trying to repurpose were not going to work. And so he did answer the question via email, I believe today. We, we got it. Okay, great. And um, he sent a mock shift, makeshift picture, if you will, where we'll be doing a half break at the bottom in the side light. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Excellent, Katie. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Are there any uh, questions from the board? Any comment from the audience? Well, what, Wait. I, I, I think there's a, Teresa, there's a little difference between the what you presented. You were going to do 10 light on either side. Now it's going to be six with brick at the bottom. Yes. Like the, the, the side light, 
Well, that's the new one, yes. Yeah. And the old one was going to be side lights all the way down from the, like the yeah. old, do you have the old picture? Yes. Okay, it would have been, this was yes, the, that's this the old was the picture. original, but this. That's the new one. Right, okay. Uh, you know, I pass your house every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always changing. I can't stop my husband, it seems. <laughs> Y'all need to build a room for your contractor because he spends probably more time. I agree. I, I've told, I put my husband on a hiatus from doing anything inside. And so guess what? He came up with this for the outside. So <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> All right. Any comments from the audience? Um, Cloverdale Idlewild supports the application. I think it actually looks better with the shorter side lights. Yeah, I think so too. I really do. Yeah. It, it probably keeps that, that area from getting the, that area from rotting too. Is that kind of an issue? Yep, that's a good yep. point. So we won't have that happen again, hopefully, with the brick down there. Yep. And it might give a tad bit more privacy, maybe, <laughs> when we walk through it. Who knows? All right. Awesome. Okay. May I have a motion on this project? Move to approve as presented. Second. All in favor? Opposed? All right, go and go right, and see if you can you. contain thank your you. husband after this. <laughs> I know. All right, uh, Deanne Allegra Boyd. Um, so we actually had a few a few things. Um, the first one was you need, a, you're going to need to get to the microphone because we um, can't can't. Sorry. Move. And, and it makes you, it makes you want to do that, but you've got to talk into it. Okay. There Can we you go. hear me now? That's very good. Okay. Yes. Um, so we have a couple different projects. Um, the first one is replacing the front door. Um, we want to change it from a single door with side lights to a double door. <clears throat> and then we also want to put a fence where the white line is. We have a fence there now, partially. Um, it's a wood fence that's really um, dilapidated, but we'd like to put a more um, like a concrete type fence. Concrete board? Mm. No, like the, that, that was the example of the one in the neighborhood that I found that we would sort of design it, except not that gate. We're going to put a, um, a black gate, one of the metal gates. We have yes. one on the, the one hand side, so we're going to try to match the other side. That's the current door that is there. And that's the door I prefer. It's wood and the round part in the center is glass. All right, so my assumption would be that what you want is a concrete block fence with stucco or something on it? Yeah, Okay. yeah. And then we'll paint it to match the house. We're also painting the house. Um, we're gonna paint it white with, but off the palette, so that's not, um, and updating all of the lighting. There's a bunch of defunct like posts and lighting around the house that we're going to replace okay. as well. Um, that's also black, so it would match the. Okay. Any further comments from the board? Ms. Forrester, are you going to come forward and make a comment? All right. Elizabeth, you had asked when this house was built, and mm -hmm. according to the tax records, it does say 1978. I thought I remembered it being built. Uh, Darby Forrester with the Old Cloverdale Association. Uh, we don't have any problem with the proposal for the um, brick wall and the gate. The brick wall is actually, you're not going to see it, and it's on the side that faces, um, that's next to the apartment complex, and they park in the back. Um, if given an option, we prefer option B for the door. If I can so, give you one recommendation, if this goes through with the wall, mm -hmm. okay? Look at what you're parging the brick with, okay? okay. Because you're gonna have, you could possibly have issues with water and cracking of that. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of issues with water in the yard already, so we will definitely take that um, into account. Okay. 
All right. All right, you door people. What do you What do y'all think? Who's got preferences to what, or do we want uh, Miss Boyd just to choose? So option A, the the glass is the half moon. That, is that I right? mean, that's that's my preferred one. I mean, my house is is extremely seventies. Like when you walk inside, you know. So that one to me, it it just fits my my home better. And my house was you know it was built in the seventies, but I do understand the you know taste of the the neighborhood as well. So, I mean, both are custom doors. So if I have to do it, you know, I'd prefer option A. I do, you know, but I'm, I accept option B as well. Well, I prefer the second option, but this, I, the, the, your option A is not hideous. I mean, there's nothing, it's not going to, uh, this is not a historic house at this point. You've got to another eight years before we have to look at that. Uh, so I think that your door preference, that would be fine with me. I, I got to prefer B. I think A has, it does not have a 70s vibe or a modern vibe. I think it has more of an Asian fusion vibe, which the rest of your house doesn't really seem to have. I'm fine right. with you having a choice, but I don't know uh, <laughs> if you're going to make it with, well, with I'll, I'll make the motion, and y'all can discuss it after <laughs> All that. right. If you're asking, Madam Chair, are you asking for a motion? I'm asking I'm for a, a motion, I'll, I'll move that we approve the uh, application as submitted, and the petitioner can choose whichever she likes, A or B. Now, if you come up with a C, you got to come back and talk to us, but <laughs> A or B. I'm not for A. I'll second that, John. Let's see where we go. All right, all in favor of that motion? All opposed? Mm -hmm. It does not pass. It does not pass. All right, let me You want to try one. another motion? <laughs> I'll, uh, of course. I get overruled all the time in court. I move to approve as submitted, providing that the petitioner go with option B. All in favor? I need a second. Oh, second. I second that. All in favor? Opposed? I'm afraid you get option B. All right. All right. Mm -mm, she <laughs> left in a huff. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Larry Henson? Is it really Larry Henson? Years since I've seen you. I mean. Mm. Is that good or bad? And it comes Clothing. with a violation. It's here. good. It's a good thing. Even though it's a violation? Um, I, I have a little presentation, but I, maybe you don't want to hear all of that. Well, you have us figured out pretty well. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have us figured out pretty well. Oh, well, yeah. I just want to say that I, I had three issues for why I did what I did, and I didn't do it trying to get around you. I thought I had covered my bases, and obviously I didn't. And I, I think I explained that to everybody now who's, who's listening. I wanted to make the fence in my yard consistently the same height because it has not been for years now. Um, <clears throat> so now it's still not because I don't own the fence on the south side. But anyway, that's, that's not here and there. I can't do anything about that. The other issue is security. Um, those of you who live in the Garden District may understand that I'm a little concerned being 71. I don't want to have to protect my life with a gun. I would prefer that nobody can get to my property and then I don't have that issue. <clears throat> I back up, and this is kind of an unusual circumstance that I don't know exists in other places. I have an alley directly behind my property and I have an alley that goes the other direction that ends at the back of my property. It's the extension of Maury Street yeah. that's not drivable. I mean, it's paved, but it's not a through street. Um, people have in the past come down there on foot and in cars. They now have put a fence across there, although it's not locked. So I have the issue with that. Also, the one that goes this way behind me, north to south, is in the center of it is a large ditch, which is now used as a drainage ditch, which goes into another drainage thing that's behind the property there. No one really monitors that. No one has control over that. And I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but I don't think the city even 
says they own that property, but they do. I mean, I think they own it. I, I don't know. It's not mine. <laughs> I know that. Um, some of the people have taken that in into their property. I, we have not down at my end. Um, the other issue was privacy. Uh, you have a privacy fence to have some privacy. I have none. Um, I still have none, even after going eight feet, because I am the lowest house in my block. The people behind me are all, I can see their entire house above the top of my fence. So I did the best I could to try to get a little privacy. I guess I'm not going to have to do trees. <laughs> but um, I, I did check with other people who in the neighborhood who had done the similar things. And I got information that I don't think was incorrect. I just didn't pursue the other part of the fence, the, the back part that I wanted to raise up a little bit. The other side was already that height, even though I think it says in here it's seven, well, seven it was seven, it was actually eight, I think. But um, that's where I am. I don't know really what else to do but to say I'm sorry and I did not mean to violate the rules, but I really don't want to go out there with a saw and cut it down. <laughs> it cost me. Um, $12,000. So I, uh, I, I kind of thought that since I didn't abut anyone else's property there, except perhaps the city, who they don't really want to know that, um, that that was OK. The other issue I probably should have said about the privacy is that last year, I've been away from my house for a long time. I've just come back last year. Um, Unbeknownst to me, the city, I guess Mr. Stringer, Stringer, Stringer had uh, approved the removal of two of the three trees directly behind my fence. So there's a, my fence is here, then I have this space that's up high, and then there's the ditch, and then there's the property over there. Um, so I had some privacy with the three trees. Now two of those are gone. I didn't get asked about that at all. They just took them down. The lady did tell me behind me about two days beforehand that it had been approved and they were being removed. Did I have a problem? Well, you know, it was too late and I was neighborly and I didn't want to be bothered with it and bother her with it, so I didn't do anything. But now I realize that maybe I should have protested that had I had an opportunity, which I don't think I really did by the city because it had already been approved. Anyway, that's where I stand. And I'm happy to get any guidance from you that you can give me or whatever I need to do. And the, oh, the thing in there about the south side of the fence, I'm not, that was suggested by the city when I was doing this, that if I wanted approval to go ahead and request it now, um, it's really not my fence. It belongs to the people next door, and they were not quite ready to replace theirs. But I just thought I'd ask why you're doing it, and maybe I could tell them, well, if you can get ready, it can go up that high or whatever. Uh, let me ask you, Mr. Hanson. There was a portion of your fence that was already eight feet tall. That's what I understand. I didn't personally go out there and measure it, but that's what my contractor measured and told me that it was. It was just the piece that, from the house to the to the south north side, and then the part that went between me and the house next door, not the back part. Okay. And I, I didn't build that fence either. That was built by the guy who owned the house next door at the time, with my permission. I mean, I paid for half of it, but he was in charge of that. And I understand you're you're just trying to get consistency in the height of the fence around around the house. Well, that that's the one the least of my three concerns, yes, sir. But that is a concern. I mean, it looks better if it's all the same height. And oh, I I agree. <laughs> We've had that issue before, I believe. Yeah, it. I would love to have done the, and I pro, I offered to pay for the south side to have it all the same height. But you know, it, they put the fence up and. It's not my place to tell them they have to replace their fence. You know, I'll, I will happy to petition for it to be the same height, but they may not want it the same height, and then I have no leg to stand on. So I may always be ending up with, <laughs> with mixed match fences. <laughs> Any other comments from the board? Any comment from the audience? Mr. Henson, did you go to the Board of Adjustment last week? Didn't you go to the Board of Adjustment last week? I did. What was their decision? Unanimous approval. Okay. I think it was... Su subject to this board or just mm -hmm. unanimous approval? I'm sorry. Was it subject to this board's approval? Do you remember? No, it was not subject to... 
I don't think so. Okay. I've got a letter saying that they'd approved okay. it. Okay, I, I, I didn't, we're rotating in the office, so I didn't hear what the outcome was. Times are, times are difficult, aren't they? They are. All right, any comment from the audience? All right, if not, may I have a motion? Well, given the fact, I think Mr. Mr. Henson was more or less trying to and understand his concerns with security, but I think one of his big concerns was trying to get consistency in the height of the fence surrounding his property and understand you can't do anything about the back part, but in a few years, if they want to do something with it, tell them to come see us and we'll talk about it. Uh, I would move to approve, uh, if this had come previously, I would move to approve it for those reasons. A second? Second. All in favor? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Is this just for the three legs that has been done I, and, and we, not including the? This, I think that we just need to do it just legs. for the three legs. Uh, I'm sorry. Three sides. Let, let me be clear. This is this is strictly about your property, not the back part of the fence. Well, the back part is not is is mine. It's the, it's the, the, okay. it's the okay. south. It's the south side. side. Okay. Sorry. But the the portion that is not yours, since that that's not before us now, we okay. would have to entertain that at a later date. Mine is my motion is strictly uh, on your on your property. All right. We have a motion to approve the the an after the fact fence three sides that Mr. Henson has already constructed. All right. Did I get a second on that? Yeah. Yes. And did we vote? No. Mm -mm. Well right. you started all to and said Cedric had a question. All right. All in favor? Okay. Opposed? All right. Thank you very much. Your flogging will be later. <laughs> With dinner? <laughs> Rachel Ann Wright Malhotra. 703 Ponce de Leon. Yes. It's it, it is build the fence without permission night here at the Architecture Review Board. Well. I admit to being new to Cloverdale. I just purchased the house in November and have been working on improving the yard and um, putting in what I thought were improvements and was not aware that I needed a permission to build this little picket fence between the side. I did do what I thought was the right thing, which was check with my neighbor and told her, told them what I was planning on doing and asked them if they had any um, objections to the fence being built. I've since painted it. I'm sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm woefully unprepared for this based on what everyone else says. I did bring pictures of the fence that I've painted now. Um, I, I don't have any excuses other than ignorance, I suppose. <laughs> But I do have other pictures of where I've painted the fence and um, I'm hoping that you will allow me to leave my little picket fence there. All right. I did take pictures of other picket fences in the neighborhood and there's not really a uniform style for picket fences. You know, some of them are like this. There's one across the street that looks similar to this one, which is sort of what I looked at when I was doing mine. It's in the house right across the street from mine. And then there are others within the neighborhood. Some of them are metal, some of them are wood, some of them are short, some of them are, you know, they're just kind of, they vary throughout the neighborhood just like our houses do. So I'm hoping I can keep my little picket fence. I want to plant some pretty flowers in front of it. and. Are you the blue house or the um, no? That's you're the brick the, house. That's the picture of the fence. I sent her. I thought I sent a second one that has uh, you, a picture of the house. You did. You did. I was just trying. Okay. To make sure. No. I, I kind of took one of so they could sort of see the right. fence, and then then in the front there is the um, is the the house. I'm sorry. I'm terribly nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> Just take a breath, ma'am. Nobody, we're not going to vlog yet. So. Uh, what color did you paint it, ma'am? I drove by. I drive. Well, I, I went and had the color matched to the house. That's the existing trim on the house. 
so that it would be the you know the same color and so it's just sort of creamy white yeah it's a creamy okay. white sort of color okay. just like the just like the windows are painted so it would match the like I said, the, the color well, of the... That's matched pretty well. I'd go by your house every day and I haven't noticed anything that drew my attention to it. Well, I've, I've worked really hard on my little house and my little yard. I, I love my neighborhood. I love my neighbors. Um, I, that's... I don't know. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet, wonderful little house. I just love it. I really enjoyed living here. I had no intention of, of breaking the rules. Well, your house is very cottagey, and the picket fence is too. So, I think that I think that it looks very nice. It's Mary Pond's old house, if you know. Remember? Pardon me. I'm sorry, Mary Ponds lived there. Yes, she did. She was the the previous owner, and she told me when I moved in. She said, "I'm not much of a yard person. That's going to be up to you." No, so. she wasn't. She was. A, she's a great lady, but she's like me. She's not much. So, of a and, and I am. I love my yard, and I I spent a lot of time working in it every day. I'm so. a block away. If ever you need to spill over anywhere, you can go to my yard. Just, and I've over. had, you know, I've met so many of my neighbors in the neighborhood because they all stopped by as I'm working in the yard and they were like, when you get through here, just come on down the street. <laughs> but I'm retired and I used to live out in Arrowhead and I chose to sell that house and move to Cloverdale because right. I like the neighborhood so much. The only thing I want to clarify with Christy, that apparently a portion of this fence we cannot it, approve. It, it has encroaches on the right of way. It I did not know. I, I put okay. it 10 feet back thinking. The right of way is 12 to 13 feet. So three feet of that fence is going to have to go. Okay. All okay. right. Because so it's, it's not this, a legal structure. I understand. So I'll need to take off um, three feet from the, from the, three so feet, it goes back 13 feet. Three feet would feet. be the safe unless you can find a, a survey pin somewhere that shows you where your front property line is. Okay. Um, and there, there may be something in the ground that would indicate, but um, I checked with engineering and they said 12 to 13 feet. So that's such a long. And they're they're very right of way to have to go back from and the they're, street. And they're they're inconsistent throughout the historic neighborhoods. Yeah. So well, three feet's better than. You know, oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, three feet. I'll be perfectly fine to take down three feet and put that post further back. All right. Any further discussion? All right. May I have a motion then? Uh, move to approve as presented, provided that uh, the petitioner, of course, shortens the fence by three feet to uh, to the right of way. Right. Second. All in favor? Right. Thank you so much. Well, thank and you. And I'm so sorry. Next, next thing I do, I'll make sure. If you have any other questions, sure. ma'am, I'm on Maston Lane. Come ask Maston. me. Maston. Okay. <laughs> I'll put People you on the People come by list. all the time and say, can I do this? Can I not do this? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Okay, um, I'll do that. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Number 10, Robert and Brandy Price. Request for approval of a rear yard fence and gate for the property at 1253 South Lawrence Street. That's exactly right. Um, we bought the property about five years ago, and at the time it had a dilapidated gate there, so we took it down, and uh, we, we now just want to put back exactly what was there. Um, it's about a 14-foot span there, uh, two four-foot gates to allow access into the back. We just want to enclose it. So it's the right height and it's not on the city right of way. I like exactly. that. I like exactly. It. It's right. a good start. <laughs> that is a good start. Hardly seen from the road. Six foot dog ear, sounds like meeting you've seen. Yes. All right, any further comments from the board? Audience? Ms. Forster left, so I guess she has no further Comments, but I guess this is not her, her no, area. That's Garden District. Yeah, yep. it's Garden District. Right? Yep. All right. 
What's there the, are no further comments from the board. Question, what's the 32 in post on the picture? It says 32 in post. I may be looking at something wrong. Two five foot wide gates to create double gated entry in with 32 in post. Hmm. You see that? It says, I do see that. Do you know what that means? 32 in post? Uh huh. Are you looking at the one that says Lawrence Street? Mm hmm. One, two, five, three, South Lawrence Street. I think that's a mistype. I think it's I think it must be. I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I don't. I don't think any posts are going to be uh, added. No one. We're going to put one up to, okay. to hinge the gate. All right. Okay. I bet it's with two end posts and not. That's, that is okay. exactly. Uh, that, yeah. Well, that makes more sense. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. A little bit more. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Any further comments? Then can I have a motion? And you know, this one is so simple, John doesn't have to do it. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> Let him go, he's on a roll. <laughs> I'm gonna rest now. <laughs> All right, someone else has to do the motion. <laughs> Katie? All right, I'll go with uh, approve to motion as submitted. All right. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor? All right. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And we go back to, is it number six? Number five. Number five. Back to item five. Number five, Brad Stone, Cloverdale, Iowa. There you are. That is me. 3136 Montezuma Road. What yes, ma'am. What do you want to do, Brad? Uh, basically, the first thing, in our backyard, we have two dilapidated sheds. One is quite large, and the other is a smaller shed. Um, and as you can see by some of the pictures, the larger one in particular has black mold inside of the shed. A lot of the wood and the plywood siding is rotted as well. And what we basically want to do there is tear down both of those sheds and put in a nicer wood shed, more or less, to give us more yard space and to be able to plant a garden in the back as well. And lastly, we only have a single driveway, and what we would like to do is in the back where the big shed is already located, convert it into just a double driveway, basically behind the house where you won't be seen from the road at all. Okay. And then we'll do the exact same fence around that area as we already have and uh, that is pretty much all we're looking to do all right well one of those sheds might have been historic at one time huh. <laughs> yeah i don't know about that but <laughs> it might have been yeah. i'm not going i'm not going to really commit the wood might be old enough for it today but <laughs> i don't know if we'd count it that Any comments from the board or the audience? The audience of two. I hope my wife doesn't have a comment on this. <laughs> I'll make for an interesting dinner. That would does. be. Yeah. <laughs> and don't go to Ellen Street and try to walk down the steps after mm. that. <laughs> no comments from anybody. Cleverdale Idlewild had no objection. All right. And may I have a motion? Move to approve as submitted. May I have a second? Second. He couldn't help it. All in favor? <laughs> he couldn't help it. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good night. Certainly. <clears throat> Is that it? Minutes. 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 All right, minutes. Any, any additions or corrections to the minutes as submitted? I have a motion for approval. Move to approve. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Yeah. Approved minutes. Meeting.